Ready for a fun, challenging problem for you to try and solve? Here, white is clearly winning. He has a rook, a bishop, and a pawn against this trapped black king in the corner. However, black is going to be delaying mate for a while in this position as he has these quintuple? Is that what it is? Five times? Quintuple isolated pawns to defend himself. See if you can try and solve this puzzle in as few moves as possible. Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of my videos and today I've got a very interesting problem that was shared with me from a friend of mine. Um, this particular problem has an interesting stipulation. It is white to move and checkmate in six moves. So see if you can solve it, pause your video now and try and see if you can checkmate in only six moves. Okay, so we're going to go through kind of how I would go about solving this particular problem and some of the issues that I faced in solving this. So the first thing I should mention immediately is yes, this position is ridiculous. Okay, black has got five pawns, quintuple isolated pawns, in case you're wondering what they're called. Obviously this would fair this wouldn't come from a real position. It is possible, it is legal, but it would definitely not come from a real position, this one. Um, but it's a composition, so it's meant to try and demonstrate a really interesting theme. Now, the theme for this particular puzzle, if you're interested what this would be in a composition language, this is known as a caterpillar theme, and it's often uh, dictated by the fact of all these pawns being like in a big long line, a bit like a caterpillar, which I think is quite nice. Okay, so what are some of the issues that you've probably encountered when you tried to solve this problem? Well, at the moment, this pawn is doing a very important role. It is guarding this really important escape square and it's keeping this black king from being able to move away. So you might have tried maybe moving your rook around, I don't know, maybe move it away from here, but as soon as you do that, you drop this pawn on a seven. And actually, it's quite hard to uh, to checkmate now. I mean, you can still do it. I think it's in about seven or eight, I think, um, when I check this with an engine, uh, but it's not going to checkmate now in only six moves. So you want to keep this pawn here, but you can't do anything with this rook because obviously if you move it forward, then you're going to get captured by one of these pawns. So that's the first thing to realize. The second thing you probably started to notice is if these pawns start coming down the board, then checkmate is inevitable, but we need this pawn to not be here. If we imagine this pawn is off the board, then checkmate is quite simple. Bishop to e4 would then checkmate the black king in the corner. Here's the problem though, how do we get this pawn to move? We need to find a move that will force black to have to move this pawn. So once you've kind of got those two ideas, uh, you understood those two ideas, then the solution will start to become a bit clearer. We need to try and make this move, let's say pawn b7 to b6, the only legal move. So to do that, we need to force black down a forcing line. And the way we do that is we need to understand that what is black's only legal move here? Right, it is the move b3 to b2. So we need to play a very crafty waiting move in this position. So the move is bishop to b1. Might surprise you. I will just mention here, if you try and play something like bishop to d3, it's still winning, it just doesn't win as fast. The problem is, is now this pawn is going to come forward to b2. And okay, you'll move this rook up, that's absolutely fine, but the problem is black can, doesn't have to play the move pawn to b3. You can actually just promote here, just be an absolute nu nuisance to the white side and it forces you to then capture with this pawn with the bishop. Okay, so with that in mind, we want to play the move bishop to b1. Why do we want to play this move? It's very clever. It stops this pawn from promoting on b1 and it forces black to then have to move another pawn forward uh, in order to have any legal moves in this position. So black is forced to play b2, rook comes up to a2, and you're going to notice a very lovely pattern here. The pawn here has to move, it's the only legal move. The rook just moves forward, pawn comes forward, rook comes up, pawn comes forward, 
I wonder if you can now see the checkmates here. Rook to a5 and after b6, can you find the checkmate in one? That's absolutely right. Bishop to e4 checkmate. A really nice puzzle that one and a very nice solution. So just to go back, what we're we doing? We're creating a Zugzwang and forcing black to come down the port board to then be able to checkmate on e4 with this bishop. I hope you were able to solve this one. Make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more future puzzles and I would love it if you were able to share this puzzle with a few friends to see if they're able to solve it. Maybe you want to even put a bet or a wager that they won't be able to solve it. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in future videos. Take care.